I come from generations of dysfunctional families. My great-grandparents were all divorced except one set. My one great-grandfather was a bigamist, so he had a couple of families going on at the same time. My great-grandmother raised my grandma as her own. In fact, my grandma thought that her biological mother was her sister most of her life. I was eight years old when my parents got divorced, and from what I can remember, their marriage was pretty toxic. We did not really have a healthy environment. Thankfully, my mother got my little brother and I plugged into a local church right after she divorced my father. And I was 10 years old when I got saved at our youth camp that we went to that summer. However, I lived in a broken family, so I went to my father's house every other weekend. And my mother's house versus my father's house was very different. I just never had that father-daughter relationship like a lot of girls have, and I never had that bond with my father that I just craved deep down inside. In high school, my first boyfriend that I had, I just clung to him, and we had a very unhealthy relationship. We were on again, off again all through high school. And then at 19, I got pregnant. Then at 20, my little boy was born, and I thought, well, the right thing to do is to get married and I was trying to patch together this relationship to make it work. Then at 21, after the cops were called in a horrible fight that my husband and I had, and my son was witnessing this whole thing at only a year old, I realized I had to do something. I had to break the cycle. I refused to let my little boy see this happen and to see his mama treated this way. I had no job, I had no money, um, we had to leave the house, so I had no house. So my son and I, we checked into the local women's shelter. Shortly thereafter, my vehicle got repossessed. I felt like I was drowning in life. I literally felt like I was going through hell. Thankfully, my mother was involved in her local church, and she connected me to one of her pastors for some solid biblical counseling. So I received counseling for about six months and it was pretty intense. I literally had to like rewire my brain on what a healthy family looks like. I had to learn truth and what God says a healthy marriage should be. A few months after that, I decided to rededicate my life to Christ and I got baptized at that church. And it just so happened that the same pastor that was counseling me was there to baptize me. A few years later, I married my husband and we decided that we wanted to have a solid biblical foundation to raise our family and we wanted to raise our family up in the local church. It's no coincidence at all that Pastor Trent, the same pastor that counseled me, the same pastor that baptized me, had started a local church at that time. So it's evident that that was the church we were gonna join. God has allowed me to raise up disciples in my own family and I am showing them what a healthy, happy, functional family looks like. And I pray that they will have solid faith in who Jesus Christ is and that they will continue to have functional families. I am living proof that you can break the cycle through the power of the Holy Spirit that lives within you. You can do anything through Him who gives you strength.